Hello students, welcome to my channel. In this video, we will discuss about some topics of fractions. Like and unlike fractions. Like fractions, fractions that have same denominator are called like fractions. For example, 2 upon 3 and 1 upon 3. In this example, both denominators are same. So these are like fractions. Unlike fractions, fractions that have different denominators are called unlike fractions. For example, 3 upon 5 and 2 upon 7. In this example, both denominators are different. So these are unlike fractions. Few more examples of like and unlike fractions. 6 upon 8, 3 upon 8, 4 upon 8. In this example, denominators of all fractions are same. So these are like fractions. 5 upon 9, 3 upon 9, 1 upon 9. In this example, denominators of all fractions are also same. So these are like fractions. 4 upon 7, 3 upon 4, 5 upon 8. In this example, denominators of all fractions are different. So these are unlike fractions. Next, proper, improper and mixed fraction. Proper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is smaller than the denominator. It is always greater than 0 but less than 1. For example, 3 upon 5 is a proper fraction. Here, numerator is smaller than denominator. Improper fraction. A fraction where the numerator is greater than or equal to the denominator. It is equal to or greater than 1. For example, 5 upon 4 is an improper fraction. Here, 5 is greater than 4. Mixed fraction. When we combine a whole number with a proper fraction, we get a mixed fraction. We can express improper fractions as mixed numbers. For example, 2 whole 3 upon 5 is a mixed fraction. Converting a mixed number into an improper fraction. Let's take an example. Convert 2 whole 3 upon 5 into improper fraction. Step 1. Multiply the whole number and the denominator. Whole number is 2 and the denominator is 5. So 2 multiply 5 equals to 10. Step 2. Add the numerator to the product. Product is 10 and numerator is 3. So 10 plus 3 equals to 13. Step 3. Write the sum over the same denominator. Denominator is 5 and the sum is 13. So 13 upon 5. So improper fraction is 13 upon 5. Next topic is equivalent fractions. Equivalent fractions represent the same value but have different numerators and denominators. Here we will find out equivalent fractions of one half. If we add 2 1 fourth, it will be equal to 2 upon 4. If we add 3 1 6, it will be equal to 3 upon 6. If we add 4 1 8, it will be equal to 4 upon 8. If we add 5 1 tenths, it will be equal to 5 upon 10. It means 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6, 4 upon 8 and 5 upon 10 are equivalent fractions of one half. To find out equivalent fractions of any fraction, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by the same number. Here, we have to find out three equivalent fractions of one half. First, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 2. 1 upon 2 into 2 upon 2 equals to 2 upon 4. Next, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 3. 1 upon 2 multiply 3 upon 3 equals to 3 upon 6. Last, we will multiply both numerator and denominator by 4. 1 upon 2 multiply 4 upon 4 equals to 4 upon 8. So, equivalent fraction of 1 upon 2 are 2 upon 4, 3 upon 6 and 4 upon 8. Now, 
we will learn how to find missing equivalent fractions in the first question in denominator we can see 4 is multiplied by 2 and answer is 8 similarly in numerator we will multiply 2 by 2 so answer will be 4 in second question we can see here in numerator 2 is multiplied by 4 so answer is 8 in similar way, in denominator, we will multiply 3 by 4. So, answer will be 12. In this question, on right hand side, numerator is reducing. So, here 4 is divided by 2 and answer is 2. Similarly, in denominator, we will divide 10 by 2. The answer will be 5. In this question, also denominator reducing, so 25 is divided by 5. Answer is 5. Similarly, in numerator, we will divide 15 by 5. The answer will be 3. Now, we will study about comparison between two fractions. Let's take an example. Suppose you have a cake at your home and the cake is divided into 8 slices. You and your friend want to eat it. You gave three slices to your friend to eat and now you are left with five slices for yourself. The fraction of slices left with you is 5 upon 8. The fraction of slices with your friend is 3 upon 8. As you can see that the number of slices left with you is greater than the number of slices with your friend. So, 5 upon 8 is greater than 3 upon 8. Now, comparison with the help of strips. As we can see, in both strips, there are 7 equal parts. In first strip, 4 parts are shaded. Fraction is 4 upon 7. In second strip, 6 parts are shaded. Fraction is 6 upon 7. We can compare easily. 4 shaded parts are less than 6 shaded part. So, 4 upon 7 is less than 6 upon 7. Now, compare 8 upon 10 and 2 upon 10. We can see 8 shaded circles are greater than 2 shaded circle. So, 8 upon 10 is greater than 2 upon 10. Now, arrange in ascending order. Numbers are 5 upon 8, 4 upon 8, 7 upon 8 and 1 upon 8. In ascending order, we will arrange fractions in increasing order. First, we will take smallest number that is 1 upon 8. So, ascending order is 1 upon 8, less than 4 upon 8, less than 5 upon 8, less than 7 upon 8. Now, arrange in descending order. 2 upon 9, 5 upon 9, 7 upon 9 and 1 upon 9. In descending order, we will arrange fractions in decreasing order. First, we will take greatest number that is 7 upon 9. So, descending order is 7 upon 9, greater than 5 upon 9, greater than 2 upon 9, greater than 1 upon 9. Now, addition of like fraction. 2 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7. In this strip, total number of equal parts are 7. Shaded parts are 2. According to this question, we have to add 4 upon 7 to 2 upon 7. So, we will shade 4 more parts. Now, the number of shaded parts are 6. So, sum of 2 upon 7 plus 4 upon 7 equals to 6 upon 7. Please note that while adding fraction, we do not add the denominators. We add numerators only. Now, let's move to next question. 2 upon 6 plus 4 upon 6. Here, total number of circles are 6. Out of these 6 circles, 2 are shaded. According to this question, we will add 4 upon 6 to 2 upon 6. So, we will add 4 shaded circles 
Now total shaded parts are six, and fraction will be six upon six. It means out of total number of parts, all parts are shaded. So it will become one whole unit. Now subtraction of like fractions. First question is four upon six minus three upon six. Total parts are six. Fraction of shaded parts is four upon six. To subtract three upon six, we will cut. Three shaded parts. Now one shaded part is left. So answer is one upon six. Next one minus one upon five. In this question, we need five as denominator. We will write one whole as five upon five. Now now the question can be written as five upon five minus one upon five. To subtract One upon five, we will cut one shaded part. Now four shaded parts are left. Answer is four upon five. I hope you understood the concepts taught in this video. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for watching.